This is Dr. J, and I'll be giving an ORCAD P-SPICE tutorial. Some of the assumptions I'll be giving um, is that you've reviewed some of my circuit analysis videos so you can use the P-SPICE and ORCAD simulation software, and you've installed a demo version of ORCAD and P-SPICE. You can use the Google search engine to find a number of the various copies as well as other versions. What I have is the demo version 15.7. I think they're up to, as of 2010 of March, it's at version 16.3. Now after installing the program, you can click on the ORCAD 15.7 menu, and then you get a sub-menu, then you click on the ORCAD CIS demo. That's how you start the program. So after launching the program you have your initial screen shown here. So before we get started in drawing the schematic let me give you a brief description of both ORCAD and PSPICE. First of all ORCAD is a schematic editor. In other words it is a program that allows you to draw circuit schematics. The demo versions that you downloaded comes with a nice collection of libraries with parts that are, you are likely to use in your assignments and laboratory exercises. Now SpeedSpice is an electrical simulator that allows you to simulate the operation of circuit whose schematic you prepared using ORCAD. This allows you to check for correct circuit operation even before you actually construct the circuit in the lab. The demo version of ORCAD allows you to run PSPICE without even leaving the ORCAD user interface. So to start a schematic, we hit File, New, Project. We'll type in Demo. And that's our, make sure you have the analog, then Mix A to D clicked, then press OK. Here we'll create, based on an existing project, which we'll put a ground symbol on our schematic. So here we have our demo, dot design, click on it again, click on schematic, and page one, will that's what we'll be drawing in our schematic. Here we have the ground symbol, I'm going to delete that for now. And we're ready to start our schematic. Now we're ready to draw our schematic, our voltage divider, in this case, draw part click on analog. Here we'll find our resistor. Press OK. And we have R1. We can right click, rotate, so we can place our second resistor. Click, and then end the mode. Next we need a voltage source. Place part for source right here. And scroll down or voltage source and here we have a sinusoid has three parameters shown here voltage offset amplitude and frequency okay we'll end the mode and then we'll set these parameters make sure you input some values in each of these components in this case we're going to edit our properties we're going to put zero volts for our offset so there's no bias amplitude of 2 volts and a frequency of 1 kilohertz. Okay, we'll change these resistor values to 10k and for the second one R2 10k. Next we need to connect the components. The wire, this can be found on the right side here. There, let go. And then ready to connect. Click. Connect and then let go. Click. 
and connect and let go. We'll end the wire. We can stretch it to make it look a little bit better. Then finally we need a ground point. Uh, again found on the right side. Make sure you have a zero here. And this symbolizes zero slash cap SYM shown here. Press OK. Place that part then right click to end the mode. Use a wire again. Click, connect, right click and end wire. So that's how you hook up a uh, schematic in this ORCAD screen editor. Now ready to do a simulation. Press P Spice, then New Simulation Profile. We'll call it Sim 1. We'll create it. Here we have some parameters. We're going to use the time domain analysis. So we're going to see a sinusoid. Since we have one kilohertz, we'll look at a couple cycles. We'll call it uh, three milliseconds. So we'll see three cycles of it. Then we'll want to look at the voltage probe here. This is our voltage probe. Place it at our input containing the source here and at the output across R2, right click end mode. So what we should see here is a 2 uh, amp, uh, volt amplitude and a 1 volt amplitude since these two resistors are equal so half of the voltage appears at this point shown here. Then we run our simulation. And you get a warning, press OK. and we have our circuit. So you'd see in the red is the voltage across R2. So half of the voltage appears of 1 volt and half of the p voltage appears uh, again at R2 and then V1 is the one in green is our input voltage of 2 volts. So our voltage divider did work. And we could see at the circuit we have 0 volts uh, at both because there's no DC. So these voltages here by pressing the V shows us the bias voltage in the circuit. Now if I did change this to 2 volts what should appear is our 1 volt when we go to the circuit. So it's going to do our simulation again get our AC analysis go back to the circuit and we get 2 volts here due to our offset and 1 volt here. Now when you go back to our analysis, you could see that, remember it was 2 volts here for our input, but when, since we added 2 volts, this will be 4 volts, and then used to be 0 here is now 2 volts. So that's how uh, you run a piece by simulation using the ORCAD editor. Hopefully this gives you a good demonstration of how you can use this tool to verify your circuit analysis.